All right, hello YouTube out there, everybody out there. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do a really amazing trick. Now I know a lot of people have been playing S4 League, and I know a lot of people have been curious as to how the hell they could use a controller. Now it is true what a lot of people say, using the controller is really difficult, but for all those lazy gamers out there who just prefer a controller rather than a keyboard and mouse, I'm going to show you how to use your Xbox 360 wired controller to control S4. Now I know a lot of people have tried for hours and hours because I know I have using different programs. I mean seriously, I, I have X Patter. I dropped, uh, I wasted money on Pinnacle. I used Joy to Keys. I read online tutorials for hours and hours. I ran as administrator. Nothing seemed to work until just out of curiosity I tried this other program. This program right here is called DS3 Tool. Now this is usually used to set up a PlayStation 3 controller for your PC. So for all the PlayStation 3 controller owners out there you will also be able to follow along this tutorial and use that to play S4. Now of course I have Kratos in the background but that's not exactly important. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I guess I'll put into the description the download links but what I basically did was for the Xbox users out there I just simply opened up the program Oh, and I, I know how everybody we see tutorials with cams like this and it gets so irritated so I'm going to just try to be as user friendly as possible. It says right here, uh, connect game controller and I connected my Xbox 360 controller and I went down to custom and as you can see I already named it S4L for S4 League. Now when I went down to custom it had me to install a bunch of drivers right and these drivers are specially designated drivers to make your controller show up as a keyboard and mouse. So that's right. That little X trap crap does not work with this program. You'll be able to be free to use a controller not only on this, uh, but basically any program that tries to pull that little bullshit. If you want to use a controller, you can use a controller. It's your business, you know? If you get owned using a controller, that's your problem, right? You know, everybody should have a choice. So I'm going to just continue on. All right, now, if you guys can see that clearly, uh, I know you guys are going to hate me if I don't show you this correctly. You know, I'm going to just set it down, see if I can angle it just right. Okay, I'm gonna angle the screen down. Okay, yes. Now, continue on, you just go to create, and it's gonna show all the buttons on the PlayStation controller along on the side. And on this portion right here, it's gonna show where you want it to come from. So, of course, you can choose a gamepad button, but X trap stops gamepad buttons but if you simply choose the keystrokes option you select the keystrokes option right and I'm just gonna make the triangle button something stupid like uh, uh let's make a control for crouch in S4 so now that I have keystroke uh, shown you know what I don't think the camera caught that I'm gonna go ahead and change something else I'm gonna just do none for this one I'm gonna go down to the where is it? There's got to be a button. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. We're going to make L3 the crouch button. Can you guys see that on the screen? L3? Okay. I'm going to click keystrokes. I'm going to go ahead and choose. And it's going to bring up a keyboard for easy use of customization. I'm going to click the control button. Now, whenever I move my analog stick, if I click it in, it gives me crouch, much similar to Halo. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. I'm going to click on S4 and overwrite my save so that way I update it. I'm going to enable it. Just go back to profiles and I'm going to click down. Now here's for the true magic of this program. Alright, I'm just going to bring up the S4 League uh, launcher right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I'm going to switch the controller just to prove that this is real. Here's the controller right here. Notice no cut, no splice, and none of that shit. This is pure unadulterated truth right here truth for all the people out there who have been oppressed by these game companies trying to tell you how to play their game. It's your computer, you play it how you want. So we see the S4 launcher right here. Now just to prove it works, we're going to track the mouse with on my analog. So where is that mouse? I'm going to just move it up to the upper corner. Here I am. Here. Now we're going to track my fingers moving it. You guys can still see that. See look, I'm in this empty area right here. Up, down, left, right. This is legit right here. La fucking jit. Alright. 
Now, a lot of people have already accomplished this with other programs, because I know I have, but the main issue is getting the buttons to work. So, we're just going to simply click on the launcher. I'm going to start it. Now, this is just something I like to do. I like to toy around with the analog stick while it's loading to see if it hangs. And if it stops for any reason, that means the X-Trap's got me. So, I'm just going to, once again, play around with the analog while it's loading. Oh, and it still works. The analog is moving at the little load screen. Normally, for most people, it would stop. Unless you run it as administrator, it'll keep going. Now, for the ultimate test, when this baby loads all the way, we're going to see... I'm going to see exactly how this baby works there. It's loading across the screen. Now, look at the login screen. Please enter your login ID. Now, look at the analog stick. Now, of course, the analog is set up for, of course, W, S, A, D, blah, blah, whatever. Now, if I were to move the analog stick, it should press W, S, A, D, correct? Well, watch. I'm going to just angle the camera down so you guys can see and look. Here's my finger, here's the words. Oh, and look at that. I just moved the analog and look what I just typed. S D W whatever the hell I just typed. Of course that's not my login, but that's just to prove that the key inputs work during gameplay. So I'm just gonna go ahead, delete, and I'm gonna type it in for all those who wanna play with me. I'm not putting my name out there because they may ban me for this. So uh I'm just going to point the camera at uh, the controller and type in my login. I'm typing with one hand here, so bear with me. All right, now for the password. Hold on. Sometimes the sensitivity from the analog controller will push the keys when you don't want it to. So I'm just going to set the controller over here since it's being a little bad boy. Alright, hold on. Just password. Alright, here we go. Confirming. Alright, I am logging in. Notice there has not been any cuts in the video. I'm not trying to do a little pull and switch. Ah, oh, shit, I typed in the wrong thing. God, fuck it. Ugh. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's the problem. Ah, uh, screw it, everybody. I'm White Raven. If you've ever killed someone hella easy, it's probably me. We're going to go into the Spanish North American room. Loading. I'm just going the extra mile to show that this really works. I'm just going to click on the first game I see here. All right, let's see here. Quick. Oh, high level people. Would I still like to play anyway? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Battle Royale. Okay. Camera's positioned in front of the screen. And voila. I'm moving around with my Xbox 360 control. Notice how stiff the movement is. It's not as fluid. But I still like it. And to prove it, check this out. Moving the analog, moving the character. This is proof that it works. Totally jogging around this place. If I stop, he stops. None of that screen recording crap. This is legit. This actually works. All right, of course I have the A button set up for jump. So if I want to put jump, just push A. And so that's pretty much how you do that. And I'm going to go into a game just to show you how horrible using a controller is. But I still believe gamers out there should still have the freedom to play however the hell they want. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Alright, I'm running around. Dodging is hella easy in this game when you have a controller. It's almost unfair to play with the controller because you're like the hardest thing to hit. Then again, you are the hardest thing to shoot. Oh crap, behind. Now, I kind of forgot to set up a button to change weapons, so I'm going to just change weapons with the key. 
I'm gonna respawn, switch to a shotgun. That's probably the most friendly weapon for using analog. And full forward, always gives me my sprint. A lot of people talk about, oh, how do you sprint? How do you sprint if you're gonna use a controller? That's so weak, that's so lame. I'll use it however the hell I want. It's not your problem. Use your keyboard and mouse. Now I can actually lay down and play this shit instead of having to sit upright all the time. Uh, walk off the step. Whoa, hell. What's with the knife in this game? That's another thing I always hated. How the hell is the knife going to be the most powerful weapon in the game? That's that's a joke. It's like Resident Evil Code Veronica all over again. Well, anyways, this is 100% working. This shit will not stop working. There's no way the developers can patch this out because the developers suck dick for not implementing controllers anyway. So, this is White Raven signing out. Bye.